in the last episode. Why guy went on aggressively on Vayne at level 1, slowly chipping their health away little by little, and when the chance finally arrived, Lord Wider's mercy got the better of him that led to Vayne slipping away from Papa's grasp. Vayne even got the first blood barely escaping with a sliver of health, but her greediness abounded when she overstayed upon seeing their jungle a ganked up protagonist that resulted to her death. From there on out, Why Guy slowly took control of the laning phase. I guess you can say that Vayne's efforts in the early game were all in vain after what Papa did to her. Mordekaiser -er saw that Why Guy is taking over the game and decided to help the enemy bot lane, sending Lord Wydra to the Death Realm for a 1v1. But it was already too late. Having the better wings, Why Guy blasted Mordekaiser -er to smithereens. Realizing that they have no chance of winning the game, the enemy team issued a 15 minute surrender. Victory. We didn't even finish Jack Show that game, sadly, it already got nerfed. Well, we all saw this one coming, that's why Y Guy already prepared a new build for Swain, and we're about to test it this game. And that is how useless the new bait ping is. Well it was an intense start. That is some fancy footwork you got there, Sona, for someone who doesn't even have feet. That was very impressive. Get baited. That's why Papa took Guardian this game, plus the Tyrant skin for the green aesthetic. Just wait till Y Guy got to his mythic item. I'm telling you guys, Papa's cooking something here.
This dog, though, Warwick slowly becoming a force to be reckoned with for our protagonist, well after the enemy team's quick surrender last episode. I'm not complaining, I love the challenge. But if Papa lose this game, that's when we complain. Just when you thought this game couldn't get more challenging enough, Yasuo displays what Yasuo does best. Disgusting wombo combo by Diana and Yasuo. I was a little nervous a while ago after they both gave their bounties to the enemy, but now I see that it was just to give the enemy team a false sense of hope for the thickening of the plot. I think we've given the enemy team enough false hope this game, let's dial our hormones a little bit and wait for our team before we fight. With Yasuo giving another bounty from the other side of the map, Diana capitalizes on what Yasuo does best and made the call to rush the Baron, and with Lord Wyder and the Virtuoso's help, the enemy team is caught of guard by the play and can't even contest. Finally, with Radiant Virtue already completed as the final recipe for this build, Y Guy created the ultimate good guy crow guy life form, not only healing himself, but also healing his friends to keep them longer in the fight. Wait a second, the question is, does this count as playing an enchanter question mark? I guess we won't be complaining after all.